No laughing. I'm not laughing. This is a serious poem. Okay. I'm officially recording. So, second poem today. Same theme. This poem is also inspired by the life events. Who knew I was so in touch with reality? It got um, third place in the Appalachian Writing category in 2012 um, for the West Virginia Writers Contest. Yay, reality! So this poem is <laughs> not a funny poem. Not a funny poem. Poem is called October Burial After a Catholic Funeral. Past the guilt service of psalters and censors, we curve into the country. The uncle's ashes ride with others along a wide creek of steep banks, root bound before the woods. Hay bales wait in fields spaced like rising rounds of dough. Then come the bright and layered raiment of leaves not yet lost. Burials should be prefaced by such a genesis, a road, up a meandering gravel graveyard drive, to the hilltop where ancestors lie. The widow quavers, tall sons and grandsons, prevent her escape to clouded sky. Granddaughters bloom about her, garland the simple end of four decades wed. The small box of him lies at a patriarch's feet, as mourners tell of the man gone. The day is slate, not silver, but there is splendor ringing round this remote rise. The comfort of all creation in the naked trunks of birches mottled with lichen, the twisted somber cypresses and the maples still clinging to perfect colors. The gust chill and words said the closest apart, but my husband and his brothers prepare to bury their relative in this familiar ground. They are not dressed for it. We wives huddle against the wind, watching. Their mother walks my son away to ancient graves, but he returns in the end to help the men where the cl turned clay waits in a line of buckets. My husband has removed his coat, rolled sleeves, and stands in the hole, tamping down the rusty earth. A grayer brother kneels at the edge, pouring the next pailful. When at last the ground is whole and the dead has been laid to rest, they all stand, and a sister-in-law whispers to another, Look, yours has gotten himself dirty, and in his good clothes, too. We smile, he has. The men look lovely and official and sincere. We watch them replace the sod in silence, their movements alone a tell of him eclipsing eloquence. They flap open black trash bags to receive soil-covered tools, as if they are preparing the end of the scene, bringing down a final curtain of silk on the ritual. But that would be outside this austerity. No, they are finished. All around the trees have flung their gold upon the damp grass, and the bronze of the day lends greatness. We wind back in the rain.